Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to provision a new EC2 server using Elastic Beanstalk. This video is second on WordPress on AWS series. In the previous video, we discussed the different terminologies that we would be using throughout this course. However, in this video, we'll go hands-on and deploy a sample application on the AWS cloud. To deploy our application, we'll be using an EC2 instance. An EC2 instance is a virtual server in the AWS cloud. Since we are deploying WordPress on this server, we require PHP and Apache server installed on it. Although we can do it manually, here we are going to use Elastic Beanstalk which performs all these tasks for us. Elastic Beanstalk provisions a new EC2 server, install PHP and Apache server on it. Elastic Beanstalk makes it easy to create new environments for your application. Don't worry if it looks intimidating as of now. Once we go hands-on, it's going to be easy to understand. Let's now create a server on AWS. I have logged into AWS console. If this is your first time, then you can create an account here. It's pretty straightforward. I already have an account, so I'll log in to the console using my credentials. Once we are logged into the console, we'll navigate to Elastic Beanstalk. Click on services in the top navigation bar and look for Elastic Beanstalk option. It's available at the top under the compute section. You can also search for it in the search bar. If we don't have any running application, it opens this landing page. We'll now click on get started button. Here we have create a web app form. We'll put the application name as my blog. In the platform dropdown, we have to select the environment where we want to run our application. It consists of several technologies such as .NET, Java, Python. Since we want to deploy a WordPress application, we choose PHP here. In the application code section, we have an option to deploy our PHP code directly. You can upload your PHP code as a zipped file, but we'll skip it for now and rather choose sample application. We are going to deploy our code using AWS code pipeline later in this course. At this point, we can hit create application button. However, instead, we'll click on configure more options button and see what options do we have here. The first option is configuration presets. Since this is a tutorial and we are not anticipating any traffic, we'll select the low cost option. Here we have an option to alter the configuration of several parameters like instance type, capacity, security. We can create a database for our WordPress site directly from here. However, for now, we'll skip it as we'll create it later from the RDS console. Let's keep everything to default here and hit the create app button. This click triggers our environment creation process and takes a few minutes. We'll pause the video now till the environment is up and running. Once our environment is up and running, we can visit our website by hitting the URL endpoint. Currently this contains a sample application code, but we will replace it with our WordPress code in the subsequent tutorials. Earlier in this video, we had discussed that Elastic Beanstalk would create a server for us in the EC2 console. To view that server, we'll go back to services dropdown in the top navigation panel and click on EC2 under the compute section. Here we get EC2 dashboard screen. We can see that one instance is already running. Here we can view the instance details like instance type, its public DNS, IP address and other stuff. So that's all for this video. We learned a simple way to deploy our application on the AWS cloud using Elastic Beanstalk. We also visited the EC2 dashboard where the Elastic Beanstalk created a new instance. We'll conclude this video here. In the next video, we'll create a repository on AWS code commit and deploy our WordPress code there. So that's all for now and I'll see you in the next video.